Hey all, welcome back to Let's Play East 6. Last time we we started, uh, no, last time we took care of some side quests and we arrived here at the Ruins of Lost Time after using our fire sword. Next, this time, we're going to take on this dungeon, the Ruins of Lost Time. Now for those of you who are wondering, the Ruins of Lost Time is pretty infamous for being a really annoying dungeon in this game. Because of these fricks right here, who can take you out in like one hit, well, like can send you on down to an abyss for like, and like no with no issue at all. Another thing people don't like about this dungeon is the required use of dash jumping. Those of you wondering, this is a technique I'm about to show off right here. What you want to do is kind of turn and then go like that. Now this technique is not easy to pull off, and in fact, a lot of people think it is one of the... And it has some more chests here that require you to know that. Now, I spent, like, three hours before recording this video actually mastering that. That was fun. Not really. I really hate when games put in techniques like this that require you to, like, pull off advanced stuff. I'm also going to go ahead and equip my honey, just so you know. I understand that. In here is a heavy belt. Nice. But yeah, here's some stuff. So yeah, um... One thing you want to do in this dungeon is get yourself to level 25 and get, I think, 6,000 G. About 6,000 G is enough to buy, like, the next, uh, armor slot, anyway. But, I mean, I'm not really going to have any need to do any of that at all until, like, near the end. I hope not, anyway. And then also, once I'm done with this, before the boss, I'm probably going to upgrade my armor as well. But yeah, I'm going to do that at some point during this dungeon. It's a thing. That heavy belt might help you with things, but it's not really as useful as I want to say as it seems to be. It could help keep you pinned down, but I don't think it actually will do much. In like, when you have like those fricks who like, you know, do things like that, where like, they'll just like, they can like, do a powerful attack on you, it's not really easy to pull off. So we got a wild foul mate, which is nice, I guess. And next up, let's just go ahead and destroy, let's just use one of my honeys again. Level up. I'm currently level 23. That's a good level to be right now. You want to be 25, like I said, by the end of the dungeon, though. Um, I mean, hey, if it takes you a while to pull off dash jumping and you want to go for 100%, I'll tell you one thing. You're probably going to be a much higher level than you want to by the end of all this. Than you need to be anyway. So, I mean, it's not the worst case scenario ever. Um... There goes that dude. So, that's a thing. So yeah, we got a herb back there. I don't know if I mentioned that. And you wanna head out this way. Nice. And there's that. Cool. And then over here is... That. Cool, so we got a lot of things going on right now. And there's that. Jesus Christ. So 
So next up, you want to jump over here, destroy this guy. Here's a very good item you can get from dash jumping. So yeah. Okay. Yes. Jump right there, and I think... Like that. Like that, cool. Like that. Awesome. Capua, Capula Water. This thing can restore up to 300 HP. Like that. Cool. We're gonna head back now. Whoop. Fell down. That's fine. Here's these guys. Let's keep going up. Which is fine. Frick. Off screen. At least that's gonna be my issue. Hey, if that's gonna be my issue, instead of dash jumping, I don't think I have much to complain about. Because dash jumping is a pain in the ass to pull off, if you're not used to it. It is literally the most advanced technique in this game. Okay, let's go here. Okay, get out of my way. Yes! Sweet! Right down here! Galba Hand. This item takes off 10 attack. Yeah, it's 10 attack, but takes down 10 defense. All right, over here, over here is something that's really infamous in this game, but I made it. Is the most, right here is the hardest boss in the game. Hey guys, we did it. We freaking did it. We made it to the hardest boss. Well, eh. I just want to grab the chest in here, yeah? That is my freaking Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, see? Okay. Don't feel ashamed to, like, you know... Shit. I grabbed the item. That's the, uh... Freaking Or... Fuck. Okay. Off screen until I can get the item, yeah? Got it. Eld Eldian Orb. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out. Out. Yes. Yes. Get out. Suck it, you freaking thing. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Got the Eldian Orb. All right. That item. The Eldian Orb increases magic gauge at a charged rate. You cannot. You want to grab that. That is. That is a really good item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe I got it. I'm going to go back and fight that guy in a bonus video. If I ever get around to that, because, you know, my history with bonus videos are absolutely amazing. So far. You can't even enter the guy until you're frick. You know, I can probably take the uh, dash jump route. Probably should do that, in all honesty. You cannot turn down an opportunity like that, though. I cannot believe I actually got it. Keep the Thieves' Glove on, by the way. Because you get a third item slot relatively soon. If you do exactly what I'm about to do, anyway. Sweet, which is level up. Frick. Cool, so then you want to go. Frickin' A. Falling off the. Let's just go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Whew, that was close. 
There we go. Got it. Okay, cool. There we go. I gotta just try not to get hit by that guy. This one you can actually get another way though, but now I got an additional accessory slot. Now what to put on that? Well, I think I'm gonna put on. Uh, let's do it. Let's give myself the Edarian orb. Try not to kill these guys. I don't know if you can really do much to hurt those guys right now. Oh, well, I found that. I obtained the Blood Nail. This is a pretty good item, actually. And I think I'm actually going to equip that. The Blood Nail gives you... Restores... Uh, Restores HP when you kill an enemy. So, for example, if I kill this guy... Bam, I restored 5 HP. So we're going to keep that there. Let's go over here now. And let us kill this guy right here. And let us kill... This guy as well. So I got, what is it? And I think I'm just going to kind of circle the area a bit, just kind of recover, kind of get myself up a little bit so, you know, I'm ready to face the first boss, so the next boss. So I'm going to do that for a few minutes. I'll see you guys in a bit. Cuckoo. Here we are, back in here again. There we are, level 25. Thank you. All right, I am back in Port Remarge. I am going to actually just save real quick, just so, you know, I don't lose a lot of data. Since we are here, by the way, I am first thing gonna do is go into here, Rosa Shop, and I am going to buy the Breastplate, yes. That'll increase my, uh, I guess power, uh, I guess so. And next thing I'm gonna do, just so I have it out of the way, is I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to tamper my swords, both of them. I'm gonna upgrade both of them once. And I won't be able to upgrade them again for a while, I don't think. And by a while, probably after the next dungeon. That's fine. All right, I'm going to warp back to uh, Ruins of Lost Time. I'll meet you guys back where we were. See you there in a second. Except that guy, which I can now kill with relative ease, so that's good. Now that's a critical, so he died. So yeah, you can go in this way now, and you'll have... One of these guys who I cannot kill, and these are the things I've been concerned about. These things die much easier now, and they don't do as much damage. That's great. Holy crap. That's what I was concerned about. And I think they also give some decent experience, but I don't know. They give me five of those mini orbs or something. Or I don't know what the core is actually called. Cool, there we go. Am I missing anything as of this point? Probably. Hope not. Alright. Let's just kill these guys. I, I just kind of want to get, like, you know, some... Just want to do one more thing before I, you know. God dang it, guys. 
Really? Seriously, jeez, this is annoying. This is really getting on my nerves. Um... The good thing is, is... The next room over is the checkpoint, so if I feel the need, like, I'm gonna die or anything like that, I can just head over there. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just so you know. I'm not, like, you know, dead. Let's go ahead and do that. That's actually a good idea. Let's go ahead and just... Save... Yeah, cool. I'm gonna off-screen until I have everything I need. All right, I should now have enough money to upgrade my, uh, what is it? My armor a bit more. Also, I have enough money to, I have enough of that stuff to kind of make my uh, swords better as well. So I wanna get the kite shield, which will in turn make me a lot more powerful. Defensively, probably. I don't think I'm actually supposed to have the kite shield until after next dungeon, though. I also, since I do have the ability to do so, I am going to upgrade my Maelstrom sword. Because you need this sword to fight the boss. And then I am going to warp it back to the boss. Back to the ruins of lost time. And I'm going to switch to my Maelstrom sword. Of course I am. I'm gonna save right before I fight this thing, obviously. Because this thing's gonna be a pain in the ass. I know it, you know it, we all know it. Here is the second mirror fragment. Except, I don't think this boss is really that hard, from what I remember. Yeah, that's me. To think, yeah. I'm gonna perish here. Oh no, that's not good at all. Well, I'm ready to die, guys. Uh, it was nice knowing y'all. Here he comes. Yeah. And yeah, not enough. Frickin' eh. Cool. Jump out of the way. And then keep doing the damages and stuff. And I'm still taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. I do remember this boss being a little bit more... Y'all can avoid him. Sweet. Oh yeah, one thing is you can't pause during bosses, I think. You'll probably know that by now, I don't know. Shit. Did me. Got ya. <laughs> Sweet. I think we still got a lot of time left. I don't know. You probably did. Only a matter of time before what seal's broken. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Alright, well we jumped. I still got the dash jump in me. That's just good. Heck yeah. All right, here we go. Long frickin' tunnel. Fun fact, in the... Oh, hey. What's that? Thing from the intro. That must play an important role later on. The ruins of lost time. Still here. Always have been. Always will be. Zimith Sanctum. I 
we got three elemental thingies, but eh. there's a thing right there. Let's see, right over here now is the middle of the island. A winged statue of pure white stood before Adol. Suddenly, he heard a gentle voice of a woman resonating in the back of his mind. You have come far, brave warrior. My name is Alma. It is I who sealed the Ark. Though my vessel does not does here decay, my soul yet lives, inherited by I think you three that. Brave swordsman, savior of my brethren, I in a far off land. Shall I shall entrust to you the final key. The final key? Whoa, what's in there? Final dungeon? Am I almost done with this game? Wish. He's still poised to open the arc once more. And that is a nightmare which must remain undreamed. You guys better not be pulling a Link's Awakening on me. Relax, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta make sure I still got it in me. And in here is the final for the three swords. The Arisil, I think is how it's pronounced. Forgive me for being bad at pronouncing things. Alright, I want to... Nothing happened. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't warp here. And in the PS2 version, there were no warp points. You had to go through the ruins of lost time every single time you wanted to come to this place. And you come to this place quite a bit. And I consider the ruins of lost time one of the worst dungeons in the game. Now, I don't think my playthrough here went bad. Oh, guess you beat me to it. You've been a hell of a busy guy while I was getting myself ready, Adol. Oh well, not like it matters. I don't have the right to see her anyway. I'll have to work with what I got. Okay. That's nice. Well, there is one more thing we can do right now, I believe. Can I warp yet? Yes, thank you. I want to warp to the entrance of the Ruins of Lost Time. And then I will call it a video, probably. Let's go ahead and let's hit that. I resonate with the door. Nice. And then here are two chests. You got the Rainbow Fragment. And you got the red tabula. Tabula. That's about all for this episode. Next time on Let's Play E7, I am actually going to take these tabulas back to where I need to, like, so I can get them red. And then we're going to do some side quests in the overworld before starting the third dungeon. I will see you guys then.